Sean here from Anything Scout. I wanted to give you guys a quick overview of a typical drivetrain LS conversion. We get a lot of calls and emails about this, and so I wanted to kind of run down pricing, time frame, uh, just some of those kind of details of the build. So what we started with here was a 1977 Scout 2 came out of Nevada. Pretty solid, customer paid about 3,000 bucks for it. And uh, as you can see, it's a decent all-around starter truck. Sent it to us to do the drivetrain conversion. And now what you have is a truck that, man, it runs good, starts right up, gets, has great performance, 300 horsepower, and superb reliability, and just overall a good daily driver. And this kind of fits in for people that you don't want to do a full restoration, or maybe you want to do it down the road, but this gets you started to something you can enjoy and drive with your friends and family. Take off road, on road, whatever you got to do. Um, but we get a lot of calls about people wanting to daily drive their scouts, and this is really a necessity in my opinion. So, what we did, took a 2005 Chevy 5.3 liter with 4L65 transmission, Chevy MP241 transfer case, we started with that foundation. We kind of do a refresh on it so it gets new water pump, tensioners, idler pulleys, intake gasket, different kind of gaskets. So the engine's freshened up, ready to run for another 100,000 miles without any trouble. We go through, it gets new drive shafts, um, new wiring, computer tune, new cooling system, exhaust system, um, everything you basically need to get this thing to run and drive reliably. Also went through and rebuilt the brake system. So new booster, master cylinder, new calipers, pads, rotors, rebuilt the rear brakes, new braided stainless brake hoses, uh, stops great and that's plenty for these scouts. Some really good steering upgrades here. Did a cut and turn on the axle to get some caster back in it so it tracks straight down the highway. Upgraded to a new steering box, upgraded to a Borgeson joint, and new tie rod ends and drag link. And now it tracks straight. You can drive this thing 75 miles an hour down the freeway, no problem. So that's the engine, pretty clean, pretty tidy, really straightforward. Let's go check out some upgrades on the interior. Again, this is not a full restoration. So what we did, we touched up the dash with new gauges from Autometer or anything Scout gauge panel, upgraded with some air conditioning. We like to keep the shifters, everything kind of looking stock. That's really important to us. And one of the most important features, now that you can drive 75, 80 miles an hour down the freeway, it steers well, it stops well. You still want to have some modern safety. So we put in our show bar with some retractable seat belts front and rear to keep you and your family safe. One big question we get over and over is how much does it cost, how long does it take? For a typical Gen 3 drivetrain conversion, it starts at about $17,000. I like to tell people if you're going to do it yourself, with one of our kits, you're gonna spend eight to 10 grand, depending on how much you do yourself and how much you have to outsource. Um, time frame, we typically take between 45 and 60 days to do the full conversion. We like to get about 250 miles on it so that when the customer gets it, it's ready to run and enjoy. If you're interested in an LS conversion of your own, just give us a call or shoot us an email. We'll be happy to give you the information. We pre-bid everything, so there's gonna be no surprises for you, and we can help you arrange uh, transportation to and from the shop. Again, check us out at anythingscout.com, and thanks again. Never gets old.